So welcome to the third JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use variables. Uh, I'll be showing you how to create them and refer to them to get their value later on. So if you don't know what a variable is, because you haven't done programming or something before, a variable is basically a way of temporarily storing uh, a value. So this value could be text, which we call a string in programming. Uh, it can store a number, so an integer, or a decimal, which we call a float. So basically everything has different names in programming. Uh, so to create a variable, what we can do is just do a var space and then give it a name. So let's just call it any name, like that, and then you're going to end it with a semicolon. So unlike other programming languages, um, let me just give you an example. In Java, for example, you have to do string and then give it a name and then give it a value. So, I don't know, hello, like that. So you'd have to do all of that, whereas in Java, we just have to say we're creating a variable here so this basically says we're creating a variable but then this is just basically giving it a value and everything so I just delete that line so um, this name by the way can be anything hence why I put any name so this can be uh, chips if we want to chips if we wanted to it can be whatever you want but I'm just going to leave it as any name and then if we want to set a value for this you can do any name equals and then speech marks because we're gonna make gonna be making a string and then we'll put hello like that semicolon now if we want to display this what we could do is document.write okay, as we did in the previous tutorial um, semicolon and then here you may remember that we put speech marks in here that is because we are setting a new text but if we are, if we are putting code in here so for example, we're referring to this variable, we do not need speech marks. So here we're just going to put any name, since that is the name of our variable. So again, since this is basically code in here, uh, we do not need to put speech marks. So just run Chrome, and here we get hello. So that is how to create variables. What we can also do to make it quicker is we can get rid of this whole line and straight here, we can go equals, and then string, no, not string, hello, like that, and then run uh, Chrome, and you see it still works perfectly fine. So that is how to uh, uh, create and get the value of variables. Oh, one last thing, you can change the value later on. So later on, I can decide to go bar any net, no, sorry. Not any name equals uh, hello to and then we can just read from it again save it run it chrome and you see we've got hello and then hello to these are both on the same line because we never told it to do a line break so like before this one yeah before this one we can just do br if we wanted to we can run this chrome and you see they're now both on two separate lines so that's just showing how you can actually use um, code inside HTML code inside of your string so this is really useful we could put italics or whatever we wanted there so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial